I'd like to do another unit conversion problem involving wavelengths of light. We're going to be using these ideas, the multiplication by funny looking ones, the idea that multiplying by one does not change a number's value, and when you divide a number by its equal the result is one. So all three of these ideas. And the unit conversion that we're going to use here is one that we used before which is that one nanometer is equal to one times ten to the minus ninth meters. You can actually think of n in this case when it's used as a prefix on a unit like it is here it's just equal to ten to the minus ninth. And I'm going to convert a unit where we go from meters to nanometers. And let's suppose that we're given that a wavelength of light is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. And we want to convert that into nanometers. The appropriate funny looking one is one that will have the meters divide out because I'd like those to go away and just end up with nanometers. So I look at my relation up here. If I want the meters to go away, my funny looking one will have to have the meters in the bottom. So I'll put the one times ten to the minus ninth meters on the bottom and the one nanometer on top. And now I've got things set up the way that I want them to be. Okay, the meters will divide out. I'll end up with, on the top, I'll have 1.5 times 10 to the minus 6 nanometers divided by, on the bottom I'll have 1 times 10 to the minus 9th. And the meters are gone, so I don't have those anymore. Now when you divide a 1.5 by the 1, I'll just get the 1.5. But the 10 to the minus 6 over 10 to the minus 9th, in that case I subtract the exponents negative 6 minus a negative 9 is negative 6 plus 9 or 3 so the exponent on the 10 becomes a third and I have my units of nanometers. Now 1.5 times 10 to the third happens to be 1500. This is scientific notation right here. When we're dealing with light wavelengths in nanometers, we tend to just write it like this. We would say 1500 nanometers. The 1500 isn't that big a number and so it's not bad to deal with that way. And this is the way that we tend to write light wavelengths in nanometers is just with a, a number here, not scientific notation. And that is equal to what we started with, which was the 1.5 times 10 to the minus sixth meters. So we've managed to do a conversion here from meters to nanometers. This particular wavelength of light isn't one that would be visible to your eye. It happens to be in the infrared part of the spectrum. It would be detectable to your body as heat if it was bright enough. So there's another unit conversion dealing with light wavelengths going from meters to nanometers this time.